for the last four and a half million years, give or take, humans and immediately pre-human species have lived on this planet under a given lifestyle, that lifestyle being obligate hypercarnivore. How do we know that is true? How do we know that is definitely true? None of us were alive four and a half million years ago. Am I just guessing here? No, here's why not. Because what we can do is a thing called stable isotope testing. What we can do is we can find the human and, and immediately pre-human remains. There are skeleton, skeletal structures, long bones that are left behind. We can find those all over the world and we can open those long bones up and we can get some collagen out of those bones. Collagen is a protein. It's the most common protein in the human body. And you'll find a significant amount of collagen in long bones. Collagen is a very stable protein. It dries out, obviously, after the body dies, but it remains intact for tens and hundreds of thousands of years. No problem at all. We can still find viable collagen in the long bones millennia later, even. And we can analyze the makeup of that collagen in terms of the stable isotope makeups, in terms of the carbon and the nitrogen found in that collagen in those long bones. And that tells us, slam dunk, no question, no debate, no maybe, no if, no but. It tells us what that individual definitely ate during its lifetime down to the specific speciation of animals that that human being was predating on and eating. And what that data tells us is that human beings, for at least 350,000 years, which is as long as human beings have existed in our current form, we have definitely unequivocally eaten a diet which consisted 80% the flesh and fat of large ruminant animals, with a few other animals thrown in here and there, and 20% very, very fibrous, very, very starch, poor roots and tubers, basically very, very fibrous materials. And that 20% of fibrous materials was stuff that we were digging up, collecting, taking home, boiling the hell out of probably, and eating as some kind of gruelly slop type stuff to subsist when the hunt was unsuccessful or the animals were not there to predate upon. Okay, and it wasn't starch rich like current tubers and roots are that have been selectively bred to be so. This was basically fiber is what these people were eating. Now, as you know, fiber breaks down in the enteric system only under the influence of bacteria that basically break it down a little bit. And what they produce for us is short chain fatty acids, not carbohydrates. Okay, so basically the human diet for 350,000 years up to the point where the agrarian revolution kicked in about 8,000 years ago, human beings ate a diet which to all intents and purposes was 100% protein and fat, given that the fiber broke down to short chain fatty acids and not carbohydrates. There was no carbohydrate in the human diet at all. None. Zero. 